Korean citizens began gathering together by candlelight at Gwangwomun Plaza in Seoul on October 29, 2016. Now, a year later, much has changed in Korean society. Political parties are clearly split on what the first anniversary of the massive candlelight protests means. First held in Seoul's Gwangwomun area on October 29th last year, candlelight protests were held a total of 23 times since then. Over that time, former President Park Geun-hye's impeachment motion was passed in parliament. And the court upheld the parliament's decision to impeach Park following a three-month trial. Then an early presidential election was held, and Moon Jae-in was elected as the nation's 19th president. Political parties have reacted differently to the first anniversary of the candlelight protests. President Moon said the candlelights represented the public's united force in calling for a righteous nation. He said he will never forget the hopes and expectations conveyed by the candlelights and vow to stay beside the public to the very end. The ruling Democratic Party said the candlelight protests were a proud moment to be forever recorded in the world history of democracy. The Liberty Party Korea, which is now the main opposition, did not issue any particular statement. The minor opposition, People's Party, and Paden Party also reminisced on what they called the candlelight spirit. But they issued warnings against the Moon administration, saying the voice of opposition also represents the public and that the candlelight notion was being monopolized. <laughs> Experts advise the candlelight spirit should be eventually perfected for the accomplishment of national unity.